What's going on, people? This is Jesse Bill from jessebill.com. And this one is called Sometimes You Have to Scale Back and Consolidate. So, in 2016, November of 2016, I left my sales job, which I was making about three to four thousand a month doing sales to start a digital marketing agency or a social media marketing agency, whichever one you want to use. Pretty much the same thing. Um, and with this, the reason for leaving was because Digital marketing, I was able to generate so many leads and customers, potential customers, through digital marketing when I was selling in the sales industry. And I saw the potential for this as a business of consulting and doing do-for-you services In digital marketing or social media marketing and so it was definitely a struggle initially I hit the ground running I did uber on the side and right before I left my job I just bought a new car 2017 uh, Volkswagen Passat which was about a 30 two thousand dollar car but I got it for a decent discount um with and I was in a position at that time where you know I needed the vehicle right away and so because I normally wouldn't buy like a brand new car I don't really believe in that based on the depreciation um and so, you know, I started the business, of course, went through that first six to 12 months of struggle. And eventually, I got up to four to five clients, you know, bringing in about four, let's see, yeah, bringing on about four to 6500 a month which I was making more than I was doing sales and I had the freedom that I didn't have in sales you know I had the control and it was 100% ownership right and so I had recurring clients that paid anywhere from 1500 to 2000 monthly a piece and I would also get some project clients that wanted me to build a website for them from anywhere from 1200 to 5000 for the entire project. Um, you know, this was good times. This was very good times. You know, had a new car, going out to eat every Really, at two, three, four times a week, going out to eat at Lil Dizzy's and Neo's and all these different ro- restaurants that I love in my city, you know, Chop House, all these different steakhouses and stuff like that. Um, but I got too comfortable, you know. I was. Intended on keeping this going the same way, you know, just taking care of the customers, trying to sell these customers when I should have been focusing on creating systems in a business so that I can hire people to duplicate and replicate the results that I was getting. And I watched most of my clients leave 
like a stack of dominoes for several reasons. You know, you had one or two that were ret- older owners of their business and they didn't have anybody to pass it off to, so they retired um, or what have you. You had people that were, you know, all different types of reasons for leaving and stuff like that. You know, you did have maybe one that didn't get the results that they wanted. And so they left. But most of the people or the clients that left, um, it was circumstances out of my control something that was going on on their end you know things of that nature so over the last year I've had to consolidate and downsize my lifestyle I had to get rid of the new car I've recently had to get rid of the uh, apartment, which, in all honesty, the apartment I was staying in, the main reason I got rid of it, I really didn't get rid of it. Um, It was actually purchased by a new owner, and they evicted everyone and renovated the place. Um, So, you know, had had the brand new car, luxury apartment, you know what I mean? Which was I, I I did uh downsize from the luxury apartment to the apartment that I was evicted from, along with all the other tenants, which I was able to significantly reduce my rent um you know had to stop going out to eat, had to stop going out to the clubs every weekend and spending money on bottles. And stuff like that. Um, that's a lot of lifestyle stuff that you know I had to lose. I had to couldn't go on trips as much to Miami and Dallas. You know, New York because the income started to dissipate. I had to downsize. For the greater good. You see what I'm saying? And really started focusing on the business. It's like if you don't pay attention to your business, your business won't pay attention to you and start bringing in money. Um, So, you know, the message of this is, you know, you really have to not only pay attention to your business, but there are times in life where you do go through down periods. You know, life, I always say this, life is a series of highs and lows. And so you have to make tough decisions of, you know, using your money and manage your money wisely. So instead of, you know, trying to continue to use the money that you do have when you, when it's a significantly less amount to keep up with the things that you really, really enjoy and things that are luxuries, you have to be really smart about it and you have to strip away all of those non-essentials. You have to eliminate those non-essentials and really put your money toward things that are going to increase your income and get, and bring it back to where it's, to where it was and greater than where it was you see it's like uh falling for bankruptcy or something like that you really have to consolidate the revenue that you have coming in and invest it wisely you have to use it in areas areas that are going to benefit you in the long run not in the short run you can't be short-sighted and you have to accept it you know 
like when this happened which is i'll be honest probably the main reason i've been on youtube for like the past year you know on panels and stuff like that because you know when when i was really in the grind and really growing my business you know i wasn't really on youtube as much i wasn't really on social media in general as much except to you know holler at friends and family or to you know really promote my businesses um whether it was the marketing agency business or prior to that it was the uh my event promotion business the elite group which um that also i took a big loss for that the same year i started a business because i was doing party promotion with my company the elite group um you know while i was doing sales and i would take the sales money invested into events and i ended up getting into a bad partnership with some guys um and ended up losing a lot of money you know because these guys weren't very good at managing money and they also did some behind the door deals with the owner of this particular venue that we did the event and you know we ended up that ended up costing us several thousand dollars that i really didn't have at that particular time um because i was so stressed in with different events and stuff like that so you know you're looking at a good five figure hit that i took at that particular time and you know even the owner of that business wanted ended up owing the owner of the place that he was renting or leasing for his venue you know he didn't own the property he was leasing it he ended up owing him money and stuff like that uh, which that that happened maybe several months after it wasn't particularly the failure of that event obviously that caused that it was chain reaction um but you know it was a lesson learned you know and there's there's really no more hard feelings toward that particular incident you know it stung for at least a at least a year or two to take such a big financial hit um because of the decision of another person or another group of people or what have you you know and they used the kind of technicality within the contract to kind of make me liable for a decision that they made which you know like i say it's a learning it's water under the bridge it's a um, learning experience and you know these were growing pains the lows in my life that you know helped shape me and help build character you know i surprised myself by some of the moves i made in this particular trough period that i experienced um in 2018 you know getting evicted from the apartment just losing several thousand dollars on a business venture at the end of 2016 you know had losing business clients throughout 2018 and slowly decreasing my cash flow and everything that you know how i responded you know i look back on it i'm actually pretty proud of myself for making those sacrifices you know sacrificing going out to eat every every couple days out the week um not partying because i really haven't really partied you know like talking about it um since this situation has happened outside of like family events our family birthday parties and stuff like that you know i ever really went to the club and stuff like that and i i think i want to start going uh soon you know i i didn't really date as much you know i had women that i dealt with you know just on a you know sexual basis basically but i didn't really date like talking about it um you know i just did a lot of cutting back you know i got rid of the car before the note pretty much uh ate me alive because i was paying you know like 450 for the car note and i was paying like another uh 400 dollars for the insurance right um so 
for, you know, about 800 bucks just for the vehicle to maintain. So I got rid of that, you know, just got a used vehicle. Well, really, I got a, uh, a used, yeah, a used vehicle and a bicycle, like a little 21 speed. Um, and I dealt with that and other, anything else, um, before I got, even before I got the used vehicle, I would just use Uber, you know what I'm saying? Which was significantly, significantly less, right? Than 800 a month. Um, and things of that nature. Um, you know, once I lost the apartment because of new ownership, you know, I moved back with my parents early this year and you know, it is what it is, being 100% um, honest and transparent. You know what I mean? I could have gotten a new apartment, but um, the plan that I strategized was to make all of these adjustments, consolidate all these funds, and really eliminate the waste in my life and really have a plan to move to Accra, Ghana in 2019 and so this plan you know has been going well of course I mentioned in my last video that my mom passed so that actually kind of postponed the move because she got sick around the same time or the same month I should say that I was supposed to leave you know I got my visa my passport and everything I just needed to get my plane ticket basically so, you know, one thing I will say about times like these in life is it does provide you with much clarity because you really understand and know what is most important to you. And I realized that what's most important to me is operating my businesses. So I felt bad at first. I felt upset at first and frustrated that I had to lose, you know, my nice car, my nice apartments, um, you know, my lifestyle things that I like to do, like buying new suits and new business attire, um, you know, going out to eat every couple days, going out to the club and, you know, getting sections and stuff like that. I missed all those things, but I realized that, you know, operating my businesses and being an entrepreneur, I really, really enjoy that and value that above all of those different material things. And it made me understand that, you know, material things come and go and don't really mean anything. You know, they're nice to have. They're like nice little toys. They're like, a, they're basically like adult uh, toys for adults, right? You know, all these different experiences, stuff like that. You know, traveling, even though I love to travel and stuff like that. Like for me, I realized that, what was important to me was being my own boss, being a leader, being a builder, being a business builder. And so these things really help with clarity. Um, and so, yeah, I did move in with my parents 2019 um, with that plan in mind. You know, my goal was to stay no longer than a year. And I really, my real goal was to stay really about six months are really less than six months because the plan was to move in April. Um, but of course, like I said, that postponed that having to deal with the secession and all these type of things. So, so yeah, just think about that. Sometimes in life, you know, you have to do like in war, sometimes you have to do a strategic retreat, you know, and then after that retreat, you have to be able to galvanize and consolidate your forces, you know, your forces in this particular reference being financials and money and really deploying them where they are best needed or best useful or most useful. You know, a little thing called prioritization, you know, knowing where to prioritize your funds for maximum effect and maximum value. So... If you ever experienced a downtime in life, you know, comment about it. Tell me about it below. If you've had situations where you lost a lot of money or you lost pretty much hit your idea of rock bottom, uh, things of that nature, you know, please hit the like button and comment and tell us about it below.
This is Jesse Beal from jessebeal.com. Peace.